A fiery horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. In the great mountains of the western United States, there were many caves, ravines, and hidden valleys where outlaws could hide after committing a crime. The masked rider of the plains knew the country better than anyone else. It was for this reason that he brought so many criminals to justice. Astride his great horse silver, he rode through the length and breadth of seven states, and no man did more to bring law and order to the frontier. And now return with us to those thrilling days when the West was young, and adventure lay at the end of every trail. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! We're heading for Burnside! Someone's waiting for us! Hello, Silver! How are The mining town of Burnside lay at the foot of Eagle Pass. One afternoon, Dan Latham, who spent most of his time in the cafe, waited for Mary Frisbee to come out of the general store. When she finally appeared with her arms full of packages, he stepped forward and touched her shoulder. Mary, I want to speak to you. Oh, Uncle Dan, I, I didn't see you. And you don't bother to see me, in spite of the fact I'm your uncle. My arms were filled. An awful lot of shopping. Yeah, you dropped a package there. I'll, I'll get it as soon as I get these others in the buckboard. Must be nice to have so much money for spending. Now, don't start hopping on that again, Uncle Dan. You drop package. Oh, oh, thanks, Indian. Maybe this color lazy. I don't do from you. I don't take nothing from a redskin. There's a lot you could learn in the way of good manners from some of them. Good day. Wait. I ain't done talking. Maybe your paws told you things about me. He's always saying things that don't do me no good. Let go my arm, Uncle Dan. Paul's told me the whole story about you and him. And a pack of lies, I bet. You and he worked the claim the two of you staked out as partners. But you drank and gambled so much you split up. He done me out in my share. No, he didn't. He divided the claim and you took first choice. Your half petered out to nothing and he found a new load in his half. He got rich. He's rich right now. And look at me. His wife's own brother. Down and out. Not a decent vest to my name. Not even the price of a drink. Please, let go, Mom. I know what Pa's done for you. He's given you thousands of dollars that he didn't have to just because he felt sorry for you. Lies, I tell you, it's lies. All he's ever done for me is to give me enough cash so he could lord it over me. So he could always say I was in his debt. That's not true. Instead of appreciating what he's done for you, you resent it. If you'd saved your money instead of drinking and gambling, you'd have had plenty. Now, please let me go. I must get home. I got something for you to tell, Ned. You ain't going till you hear it. Then please hurry. I ain't done with him. He swindled me. That's what he done. He swindled me, and I won't stand for it. Is that all you want me to tell him? Just tell him that. You've been saying that for as long as I can remember. Well, I ain't fooling. I mean it. You let girl go. You keep out, miss. This is a family affair. I'll go here. Uncle Dan, I want you to take your hand off my arm at once. I won't. No ornery red skin is... Oh, Doggone you. No, you... You go. Oh, thank you, Injun. Me name Tonto. Then thank you, Tonto. You tell your old man that. Oh, I'm sick of hearing that. Get up 
then. I'll get square. I'll fix things someday. I ain't going to be the underdog all the time. You wait, Mary Frisbee. You and your old man will get what's coming to you. You, he big fool. And you too. You'll get yours for slapping my arm away. You just wait. again. Drinking? He had been. He was feeling sorry for himself. Yeah. Just the same as usual, eh, Mary? Uh-huh. Blaine fool. It's too bad he didn't straighten himself around, get a job of some sort. He was half crying at the way things had been going with him. Broke? I guess so, Pa. Uh, he was here a few days ago, and I give him $50. He's probably blowed that in, same as all the rest of his money. Well, I'm not going to worry about him anymore, Mary. For 15 years, he's been growling around about the way I swindled him. No one believes him. I know, but I'm getting sick and tired of it. I I think he is, too. What do you mean by that? There was something about the way he acted today. It it sort of worried me. Worried you? Mary, you ain't given to worrying. I know it. That's the reason I sort of take it serious now. What did he say? It wasn't so much what he said as was how he said it. I think he's got some sort of scheme in the back of his mind. <laughs> he never stays sober long enough to think straight. He might think... Crooked. Mary, what are you driving at? I don't know, Pa. It was a funny look in his eyes when he said when he said he'd get square. What else did he say? He said he wasn't going to be the underdog all the time. We'll fix that. You just sit right there, Mary. I'll be right back. What are you going to do? I'll show you. Hey, Jim. You, Jim. Come in the house here a moment. Come on, boss. Jim Brandt will be right in. You think I'd better change my plans about going to visit Aunt Sally? Not by a darn sight. We won't let that honorary no-account brother-in-law of mine interfere with your plans. You've counted a long time on going to visit your aunt. You're going. You want to see me, boss? Yeah, close the door, Jim. Sure. Anything wrong? Not yet, Jim. But I'm just going to make sure there ain't going to be nothing wrong. You know Dan Latham? <laughs> Who is there in these mountains don't? He's been making more threats. Well, that don't mean nothing, boss. He's always making threats. Well, maybe he's getting serious. Anyhow, that's the way Mary feels about it. Oh, I didn't mean to worry you so much, Pa. It's I'll... all right, Mary. But, Jim, you see, Mary's planning to ride through Eagle Pass to visit her Aunt Sally. Sure, I know. I wouldn't put it past Dan to try and make a little trouble. She ain't nerve enough for that, boss. Oh, I can't tell about a man like Dan. Anyhow, I'm changing the plans I had of letting her ride through the pass alone. I want you to go along with her. Well, that suits me fine. Good enough. I'll go see who that is, Paul. All right, Mary, I'll go over the plans with Jim. Me come tell you. Oh, it's Colonel. Who's that? Paul, this is the engine sent Uncle Dan about his business when he was trying to stop me. Oh, come in. Mary was telling me that she met Dan town today. Uh, Dan him bad feller. <laughs> you ain't telling me nothing. What'd you come here for, engine? Me come tell news. News? What sort of news? Is anything wrong? Maybe plenty wrong. Go on. Me here feller in town. Dan? Not right. What'd you hear? What do you have to say? Him talk to another feller. Maybe them make plenty trouble for you. Yeah? Him not take drink. He didn't take a drink? That's right. Why not? That's the first time I ever hear to him refusing one. Him say him keep sober. Mm, what's he want to keep sober for? He sure changed a lot. Him say him got plenty big plan. Look here, Injun. Did he say anything about what his plan was? Oh, you can't go much by what Dan says. And I wouldn't take much talk in what a redskin says either, boss. I want a reward, eh, Injun? No, that's not right. Well, whatever happens, we got things in hand, Savvy. Uh, now you can mind your own business, Injun. That good. You shouldn't have talked to the Injun that way. Shucks, it's all right to help you out like you've done this afternoon. But he needn't think he has the right to interfere with all of our affairs. I don't think he felt that way. He just heard Dan saying things and he thought we ought to know about it. Well, that's funny. Did you hear that? Well, there was two men out there. Yeah. Now, what do you make of that, Jim? Might make a plenty of it. I don't it. like the way you talk about Tonto. After all, he's been right now. Now, Mary, don't you worry about it. It ain't no business of yours. And the fact that he had another man waiting outside for him, that strikes me as being downright suspicious. Same here, Jim. You reckon the engine's up to something? Either that or he's hooked up with Dan. Well, I'll be just as well satisfied for Mary to get out of here for a while. Maybe while she's visiting her aunt, I'll be able to have a final showdown with him. Jim, you figure on riding with her till she gets past Eagle Pass. I sure will, boss, and you don't have to worry.
As Tonto and the Lone Ranger rode away from Ned Frisbee's home, they discussed what Tonto had overheard and what Jim Grant and Ned Frisbee had said. I heard most of the conversation through the window, Tonto. The girl's planning to ride through Eagle Pass. Not plenty bad country. It's a good thing that fellow's going with her. Him bad fellow. What do you mean, Tonto? Me see him. But he's one of Ned Frisbee's trusted men. Maybe so. Tonto not like him. You're usually right at judging a man, Tonto, but still... Tonto think him bad fellow. When you heard Dan Latham talking, he said he had a partner. Uh-huh. But we don't know who that partner is. Not right. Tonto, there's only one place that he can make a play to capture Mary Frisbee. That Eagle Pass. That's right. I'm going to watch Dan in town. If he leaves, I'll follow him. That be good. And in the meantime, you ride to Eagle Pass. And be sure the girl gets through there safely. Uh, Tonto, do that. You might start right now. You head north, and I'll head for Burnside. Tonto, go now. Get him up, scout. I'll see you. Late that night, while the Lone Ranger hunted through the town of Burnside for Dan Latham, the man he sought met Jim Brandt in the dark shadows of a grove of trees close to Frisbee's home. Everything is set to him. Good enough. Remember, whatever I get, you get half. I'm counting on that. Things worked out even better than we figured. How's that, Jim? <laughs> I didn't even have to ask the boss to get time off to visit friends. I didn't ask him. And how in blazes are you going to get to Eagle Pass? You'll laugh when I tell you. I'm going to ride there with a the girl. Where is it? That's right. The old man sent me along to protect her. In case you try any stunts. <laughs> That's how good. <laughs> It'll work out perfect. Once we get in the pass, there's plenty of hiding places alongside the trail. I'll just tie her up. Savvy? Good enough. And I'll be free to handle the deal with Frisbee. Before I'm done, I'll have what's rightfully mine. <laughs> The Lone Ranger felt sure that whatever attempt was made to harm Mary Frisbee, Tonto would be there to help her. The masked man himself kept an eye on Dan Latham in town, watching every move he made. Toward sundown the next day, Mary and Jim Brandt were riding through Eagle Pass. I'd hate to come through here after dark. I bet there's a plenty of wild animals in the hills here. Yeah, right bad. We'll be through the pass and into the open before it's dark, won't we, Jim? Well, that's hard to say, Mary. What's going to happen before we get out of here? What do you mean? Well, let me see. Where's that rock? What are you looking for? Oh, there's a rock near here, right along here somewhere. It marks a hiding place, and a dog one good one, Mary. A person lost in here can never be found. There's the rock up ahead there. Well, what about it? That rock marks a place where an old trail leads into a cave. Ain't many men know about that cave. What do you mean? A man could stay hid there for years and never be found. Man could starve to death there if he was tied up. Well, what about it? Whatever happens to a man could happen to a woman. <laughs> sure hope your pa feels generous. Here's where we leave the trail, Mary, and break through that underbrush. Wait, what are you doing? Now you do what I tell you. Jim, put that down. Get Jim. moving, I ain't fooling. You double cross. Come on, you may as well have it now. Me and your uncle are working together on this, and your old man's going to turn over half of everything he's got if he wants you out of here alive. Get him up. Help! Help, Tonto! You let go! That blamed engine again. I figured someone was following me. Well, you won't stop me! Oh. You killed him! I fixed him! <laughs> now, by thunder, everything's worked out just perfect. When I come back, I'll tell the story about how the engine tried to capture you. And if you have to starve here, it's the engine who'll take the blame. Now, get to that cave! <laughs> Tonto, the faithful companion of the Lone Ranger, lay on the ground beside his horse. Jim Brandt's bullets had found their mark. In just a moment, we'll continue with the second act of our Lone Ranger drama.
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger, certain that Tonto was guarding Mary Frisbee as she rode through Eagle Pass, watched Dine Latham as he made the plans to kidnap the girl. The day after Mary left her father to visit a relative, Dan called at Frisbee's home. Who's there? Open up. Open up, Ned. I gotta talk to you. Wait a minute. Dan, what do you want here? I told you never to show your face around here again. Yeah, you told me a lot of things, Frisbee. But I reckon this is the time you're going to begin taking things back. What do you mean? I'll just step in where we can talk private, if you don't mind. All right. Say all you got to say now and get it over with. This is the last time you're going to set foot inside this house. Yeah? That's what I said. Mary told me how you acted toward her in town. I'm sick and tired of the way you've been talking around town and treating Mary. Sick and tired, huh? You heard me. Now, what do you want here? I want cash. You've got all the cash you're going to get. I gave you $50 less than a week ago. $50? You talk as if that was a heap of money. It is. Well, there's lots of ways of looking at it, Ned. $50 is a lot of money for small change, but it don't compare to fifty or 60000 What are you talking about? Fifty or 60000 That's what I want this time. You've been drinking too much. I ain't had a drop for days. I kept a special sober for this deal, Ned. Talk. Your daughter's going on a trip, ain't she? What do you know about my daughter? <laughs> sort of a dangerous trip, too, going through Eagle Pass. Mighty dangerous. Lots of things can happen there. Bad places in the trail where a horse could slip and break a leg. And if the rider was thrown from his horse, he could lay there till he starved to death and never be found. I get it. Well, let me tell you something, Dan. That Injun told me you might be scheming something. Yeah? And he told me plenty about you. And because of what he told me, I sent Jim Brandt to see that Mary got through the pass <laughs> safe. <laughs> Jim Brandt ain't much protection. There ain't a handier man with a gun in these in the part of the country. What would you say if I told you Jim Brandt and me was going to split the case that I'm going to get from you? What's that? That sort of surprises you, don't it? You, you mean... I mean what I said. Jim Brandt was planning to ask you for a few days off to visit relatives. He was going to use them days to lay in wait for Mary when she came through Eagle Pass. Instead of that, you played right into our hands and sent the girl along with him. Why, you dirty old Ain't no use getting excited. There ain't no use trying to find him. You could send a scouting party to discover the whole pass and you wouldn't find the hiding place, Savvy. I ought to put lead through you. That's the surest way I know of to kill your daughter. You give me the money I want or you won't get Mary back. Stand right where you are. What the? Mask. You're covered. Don't reach for guns. No, she Who's is. Who's this? Another of your killer friends? No, oh, i never seen him before. Frisbee, I was here the other evening when the Indian came to see you. Indian? You call your horse Silver? That's right. Tonto and I knew that your daughter was to go through Eagle Pass. Tonto didn't think that Jim Brandt was on the level. I always thought he was till this skunk come here. Tonto followed the two. If Brandt makes any attempt to abduct your daughter, Tonto will prevent it. Yeah? Why are you... Are you sure of that? Tonto has never failed before. Don't pay that man any money. Now, Dan, you've stuck your neck in the noose. Stranger... I don't know who you are or where you come from. That doesn't matter. But it's my guess that Providence sent you. This polecat had me where I'd have had to pay him all I own to save Mary. I heard what he said before I came in. But hold on. How will I know that Mary's safe? She'd be go right on to her aunt's place. Tonto will come back with Jim Brandt a prisoner. Your daughter will likely ride back with them to tell her story. Dan, I'm going to see you hang for this. At last you made the break that'll put you where you belong. Stranger, I'm drawing my gun. Not to kill. Oh, don't worry. I won't kill the rat. Much as he deserves it. I let the law do that. You've done a heap for me. Now, if you just do me one more favor and ride to town and send the sheriff here to get this coyote, I'll... I will. Those horses coming now. Maybe that's the redskin and my daughter. That isn't Tonto's voice. Hi right there, Ned. We're fetching bad news. The sheriff. Hey, what's this mean? The mask man and Dan Latham. It means just this. Latham schemed with Jim Brandt to kidnap Mary. When she went through Eagle Pass. I know. How'd you know? You finish talking, then I'll tell my story. Come on in, Stan. I'm coming. I just handed the horse. Go on, Ned. Dan Latham, like I said, schemed with Brant to capture Mary. He come here telling me it cost me $50,000 to save her life. Yep. But the masked man has an Indian friend, Savvy. So that's where the redskin come from. What do you mean? What about the redskin? He suspicions something and followed Mary and Jim. And the masked man tells me he'll rescue Mary. Says that I can count on him. I see. So I want you to throw Dan in jail and hold him. Wait a minute, Ned. There's nothing I'd sooner do than throw the rat in the calaboose. There's nothing I hate more than a digger with his breed. Yet there's one thing that's a sight more important than seeing him get what he should. Well? That's your daughter's life. But she... You wondered how I know she was kidnapped, how I knowed about the redskin. 
Well, Stan here can tell you the whole story. What story? Go on, Stan. Well, I was riding this way, coming through Eagle Pass, when I seen a horse blocking the road ahead. Where? Right at the end of the pass, this end. That don't show that the hideout is near here, though. The horse might have been led there, then tethered till someone come through, just like I did. There was a note fastened to the saddle. Whose horse? Your daughter's. Go on. The note said the girl was captured and the redskin shot. Shot? That's the man you spoke of, eh? Tonto, shot. That means he failed. For the first time. And if he failed, it means that Brant has married. There was all the instructions on the message, Ned. It looks like the only way to save the girl is let Latham go free and pay what he asked. <laughs> you see? Your scheme fell through after all. Now put down them guns and get out of here. Can't you scour those mountains and find that hideout? Stranger, take years to search them all. And even then, we'd be likely to miss where the girls hid. You you think, Sheriff, the only way is to do what this skunk wants? I hate the idea of it, Ned. There ain't no one hates more than me to pay that cash and pledge that the law won't punish him. But on the other hand, it's... Mary's life. The note said some more. Said that the cash had to be paid by sundown. Was there any proof that Tonto was shot? Yep, here. What's that? This here bundle was fastened to Miss Mary's horse. Let me see it. It's an inch in his jacket. Tonto's. You can see the bullet holes and where... Yes, and this stain. Ain't no question, Ward. He's inside it when them holes was made. If only there was some way to track a man or horse in that pass. But there ain't. It's all rock. Frisbee. Huh? They want the cash by sundown. Yeah. I'm heading for the pass. Don't pay a dime until the last minute. What's your idea? I'm still not convinced that Tonto has failed. I'm riding for that pass. But you can't get there and back by sundown. Not with an ordinary horse, but I'm riding on silver. You won't find him. You won't find him. And if that cash ain't You paid... shut up. You're staying right here till that man gets back. I'll be back. There might be hope, Ned. He called his horse Silver. He's masked. But I don't savvy. Go on, that. mister. Ride that horse. Hit for Eagle Pass. You know him? Ride, Lone Ranger, ride. <laughs> the great horse Silver raced toward the hills and then started the treacherous climb upwards. There was scant hope, however, that the Lone Ranger would be able to find the girl and Tonto. And even if he were successful, it would be almost impossible to return to Frisbee's home before the sunset. Meanwhile, in a well-concealed camp far from the main trail, Jim Brandt talked with Mary. No use you worrying about it, Mary. Your pa will pay the cash and everything will be all right. Don't talk to me. And even if he don't, there ain't no cause to worry, see? I ain't gonna leave you here to starve like your uncle planned me to do. <laughs> No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> I'd take you away, and me and you will get married. You'll make a good wife. I'm going to stay here and starve. Nah, that ain't no way to feel about it. After all, I ain't a bad hombre. I'm just taking a chance of a lifetime to get plenty of cash. You only... A lot of spunk, huh? That's the kind of woman I like. You see, me marrying you, it'll sort of keep the cash right in the family. Leastwise, the half of the cash that I get. How's that engine? I ain't interested in him. Well, at least do what you can for him. He's wounded mighty bad. Hey, let him die. If you don't want to help him, untie my hands and let me... I ain't untying your hands, and I ain't wasting my time playing nurse to no redskin. Too bad he didn't die right off the bat. Maybe I should sort of help him out. Please help him. All right. I'll help you, Mary. <laughs> Wait, I didn't mean that. <laughs> That's too bad I didn't think of it before. He's already got one bullet in him. Another one will finish him. Please, please don't. This will be interesting. Wait, wait, Jim. Save your breath. You, you let him shoot. But Tonto... Tonto, not mine. Eh, uh, you see? Me, me ask one thing. Yeah? Well, I reckon that's all right. Go on and ask. You, you come close. Tonto got secret. Can't you talk no louder? Come close. Tonto got Secret. All right, all right. Go on, tell me what's on your mind and be fast. You, you got Tonto hand tied tight. I don't take no chances. You think wound make Tonto plenty weak. All right, I think the wound made you weak. You think Tonto hand still tied. But I'm not tied. I'll shoot him. Get free. Get, Look him, out. Out. Fire. get him down. Take guns. Knock him down. Get him, Tonto. He's it's you. Oh. You got him. Uh, oh, Tonto, you got no. him. No. Now me get you free. How did you do it, Tonto? Tonto find sharp rock. Cut through rope. You weren't hurt as bad as he thought. Mm, that's right. Bullet not hurt bad. Never mind hurting my arms. Get no. these ropes off. Because... We've got to get back to Paul Fair. There. There, rope gone now. What about Jim Brand? Tonto fix him. Put rope on him. Here, scout. Can your horse make Tonto go too late? We try. Now, Tonto fix this fellow.
There goes the sun. Now you better hand over that cash and sign the agreement fast. What about it, Sheriff? Well, Ned, I've been hoping. Hoping and praying that in spite of all the odds against it, the masked man would do the impossible. Eh, but it don't seem he's done it. Yeah. And if I don't get that agreement that me and Jim won't be jailed, then the whole deal is off. I've got to start now if I'm to send the signal to Jim that the cash is delivered. Open that door. Let's see the sun. It's going down, Ned. That settles it. Here's the cash, all of it. I'll sign the agreement now. You have to sign it too, Ned. Yes, you sign it, and then the deputy can sign as witness. You can't back out on your promise. One time in now, let me have that cash. Hold on. Why, what's that? Look, there he comes. He's riding back. Look at that horse come. Look at the Lone Ranger ride. Hold that money till he gets here. Come on. What's the news? Don't give that man a dime. Get him to jail. But what about my girl? What of Mary? They're coming behind me. I met Mary and Tano on the trail. Brian is tied in the cave waiting for you, Sheriff. There they come, just breaking from that row of timber. And the way that girl is riding, Ned, there ain't a thing that's wrong with her. Tano was wounded, but Tano didn't fail. Mister, if you'll take a reward, you can have this cash that I was about to give the pole cat. Hi The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger, Incorporated. <laughs>